<laughs> nah, we're going to get to that, baby. Let me get to the people. What's popping, Fight World? You rocking with your boy. So your boy, Bisexual Tank Davis, want that work. He want that smoke with your boy, Keith One Time Thurman. He reacts to Keith Thurman performance and said, I want that work after Roley. I would love to introduce myself to 147 after I knock out Roley. I'm like, okay, playboy. <laughs> okay, that would be crazy. But I respect it. Moving up, moving up. Look, there's a lot to what he's doing, right? Because we could say, come on, Playboy, you haven't unified. You haven't been undisputed in any of these, you know, weight that you've been in. So, come on. But for me, as a boxing fan, I would like to see the fight. I mean, Tank got power. He's short. He's fast. He's explosive. Keith one time. Thurman got to do some different things. But you'll be catching Keith as he is vulnerable, in my opinion. Reflexes are not there. The power, I'm not sure about it. And I think that uh, Tank probably could outbox the boy. You see me? But he's short. You know what I mean? Coming up to 147 is a different punching power. And under the big lights. Yes, he has knocked down, knocked out sparring partners that were heavyweights. So he say, your, your boy uh, Bisexual Davis. But at the end of the day, uh, give the boy credit. He put it in the air. Hopefully after the Roly fight. You know what I mean? We'll see. Because there's so many fights that, you know, 135, 130 that I would love to see him, you know, get busy in. Especially 140. So him skipping the line, going up, then going back down is kind of crazy. But, you know, he a fat little boy. He really can't be disciplined as he should be. So I don't know, man. But I'm just reporting the news. He want that work. He want that smoke. These guys got, I guess you can say, bad blood. They win back and forth, you know, in the past. But as far as Keith Thurman is concerned, I think he should... uh find another fighter that got some athleticism and some pop to get in the ring with before going in the ring with Crawford or Earl Away Bully Spence. I just think that he's not ready right now. And it's understandable. Two years out of the ring, I know you talk your talk because I heard him say he got the ring rust off in sparring leading up to this fight. Nah, you don't get the ring rust off in the gym. You get the cobwebs off in the gym. Yeah, you get the cobwebs off in the gym, but you don't get the ring rust off under the big lights, under big pressure, going up against your opposition. That's going to take your head off. You know what I mean? You know, with, with, with eight ounce gloves and, and with, without the uh, headgear, it's a big difference. You see me? So at the end of the day, I think he just talking his talk, promoting the fight. But Barrios is my guy. Salute to that kid. He will be back. But at the end of the day, give me your thoughts. Do you think that your boy Tank Davis has a shot at beating your boy Keith one time Thurman? Would your boy Floyd even give Keith Thurman the opportunity to knock out or hurt or give your boy an L and your boy Bisexual Davis? I'm not sure. And I'm not sure I like the fact that he's skipping weight divisions to go fight at 147. I just don't like it. It's not really showing us that you will... Uh, uh, you know, that you can clean out a division. You have to clean out a division, you know what I mean, to really be respected and to really hone in your skills. For me, he'll be making a big mistake. But you rocking with your boy CBT. Let me know you what you think. Holla at me. Peace. Oh,